If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay. Maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. This fanatical cult, and you as the hero are, you know, um, joining the resistance to try and push back and liberate these people. Exactly. Yep, that's what we built. So as you kind of see this, you're, you're going to see Boomer for the first time. You find yourself in the world. You know that this cult has taken over the space. You're kind of trapped behind cult lines. And what you have to do is basically find people out in the world and build this resistance. And it can start with uh, Boomer the dog or any other person that you meet. I mean, you have to start with the dog. Of course. Is there any That's other right. option? Right. Man's best friend. Exactly. Well, we were actually in Montana, and we were uh, hunting, and there was, um, it was kind of the end of the day, and it was getting cold, and the guy that we were with was like, don't move. And we're like, okay. And we, we watched his dog for like 10 to 12 minutes, and finally and the dog wasn't moving. At the end of it, the dog barked, and this bird went, chuk, 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 and he goes, always trust your dog. And that's why the game's in. That's why the dog's in the game. Nice. Yeah. The origin story of Boomer there you go. on That's PlayStation Boomer. Underground. Yep. You, you got more than you asked for, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so t tell me a little bit about this setting, because we are about to try and liberate yeah. a section of Hope So County. this is a small community, Falls End. And what you basically got here is that the cultists come in and they've begun this thing called the Reaping, where what they believe is that the end of the world is coming, and that what they need to do is save as many souls as they can whether they want to be saved or not. So they come in, they take over the town, they begin to take people, they kill some people. And what you have to do is basically liberate that town and take it back. And when you do, it begins to open up other parts of the world and you can meet different characters and, and you begin to discover the open world through these communities. And I think you guys want to, well, we want to use Boomer, obviously, but also uh, the our, our friend playing here is going to take a slightly more... Uh, long-range approach exactly. at the beginning of this right. playthrough. And that's one of the principles of Far Cry, right, is that you can play however you want to play, and there's a lot of 360 ways. degrees, right? I mean, we learned that on some of the games we built in the past of building a game and building an environment where you can attack it any way you want. In this case, you've got Boomer, who has the ability to actually tag all these characters and be able to help you figure out how you want to attack. Okay, so now I believe that there is a bed in place where uh, if any death happens uh, on screen that is not the enemy, <laughs> yes, exactly. we beat up the driver. Yep. yep. Max is going to be in trouble if he dies. we got to watch carefully. So he can attack it any way he wants. And what's cool, though, as you can see, is that what he's able to do now with Boomer is he's able to tag everybody. But what's really cool about Boomer is once you set him loose, he really does become a weapon unto himself. And you can basically kill these guys and begin to take the weapons from them. Let's see what Max does. And this is the cult on the yep, microphone, that's correct? That's the father. Mm -hmm. What he does is he actually... Oh, he's just taking the guy down. So Boomer's kicked it off. And now he can send Boomer pretty much anywhere. I he think the stealth, the stealth uh, section over. is over it's now. It's over. Boomer We've is uh, moved lit into it up. the new chapter. Yep. I like that the dog kind of decided when it was yeah. time for, uh, for yep. things to get... Always trust your dog. Up. And there's some gun emplacements here to, to make matters more fun. Yeah. So Max is gonna he's gonna tear it up. And you can see civilians civilians are actually getting out. I mean you rescued a couple people just by being able to push back on the cult. They're gonna get in vehicles, they're gonna act like normal people, they're gonna get the hell out of there. And then Boomer's gonna step in. Now reinforcements have showed up. So now you got to think about, all right, how do I spin that plate a little differently? How do I get it so all those guys that showed up in that cult vehicle, maybe you can send Boomer in and basically try and take some of those guys out? If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay. Maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> we can't see. Go, go, Boomer! Take him down. Good nice. old reliable Boomer. Yep. It seems like if you name your dog Boomer, you're kind of setting the animal up for a certain type of life. Exactly. Right? Yep. A life of action yep. and mayhem. Cool. That's it. Which I would not wish upon any real animal. Right. I just want to put that yep. on the record. So there you go. Liberated. Yep. Basically so took simple. over the town. Yeah, it was super cool. Just because we had Boomer, though. Anyone exactly. else, I don't know if it would have gone as smoothly. Well, wow, Boomer's super cool. I mean, we really wanted to be able to make it so that we had that experience that we had in Montana of you have a dog, it's your pet, you trust it, and it's a weapon. It's super cool. And do you gain any access to something once you liberate this area? For sure. A, so, another foothold here yeah, in the community? Yeah, so this, this is a community. We actually built communities in the world so that what you do is you meet real people like Mary May, Pastor Jerome, Nick, and when you meet these sort of community leaders, they're going to tell you about things that are happening out in the world, and that helps you basically follow your nose out into the world and do what you want to do. Awesome.
Dan, this looks amazing. Cool. I love seeing it. Far Cry 5 coming to PS4 next year in February. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining right us. Right on. Thanks, man. And Appreciate it. a little bit about why Montana. Well, take a look at it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a, it, We actually went there, and we just kind of discovered it and fell in love with it. The thing is, is that for us, we know that Far Cry has typically been about putting you on a plane 6,000 miles away and getting you somewhere exotic. But we said, what if we could do that kind of at home? What if we could let you explore the things that you already know and make that feel a little bit twisted and interesting? How do you do it? And in this case, what you're seeing is the cult, which we built, has actually taken over this small town of Falls End. You're looking at it, getting a sense of what you got to do. And what we wanted to do is give you the tools, the weapons, and the people to be able to build this resistance and then fight back. Awesome. So I, I actually have community questions, Sid. Can oh, you believe it? Dan get, Dan, get ready. All right, I'm ready. You already know what these are. Uh, Oversoul Gaming wanted to know, this is the first Far Cry game I'm really interested in. Will it be newcomer friendly? Is it more focused on action or stealth? It's a great question. I think that from the standpoint of it being newcomer friendly, for sure, right? Um, we, we definitely want to be able to make it so that if you played a Far Cry before, you're going to be able to pick this up and go, OK, I get, oh, that's different. Wait a minute, the surprise. But if you've never played a Far Cry before, it's a great opportunity for you to pick it up and to be able to experience it for the first time because we're building a story that you author, right? Gone are the days of the linear story. What we want to be able to make it is that you can go in any direction, meet any character, and be able to imbibe in the action bubbles that you want to do. So for sure, it's, it's completely friendly. Good. Well, he asked a good question then. That's great. Go ahead. What's your next one? Uh, Philippe wants to know, is the wingsuit back? This did a lot in Primal. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even yeah, know if I'm allowed. Wait, <laughs> you're just like sew together a bunch of fur skin for like just fly. It's not like we didn't talk about it, but the okay, first right. explosion was a, I don't honestly know if I'm allowed to talk about the wingsuit. You know what? Fuck it. Yes, it's back. Okay. And what's cool about it is that we didn't just we didn't just put in the wingsuit, we actually built a character that's this legendary stuntman that's from Mon Montana, our character. Awesome. And when you do a lot of this stuff with the wingsuit and other things that you do that are stunts in the world, you're actually paying homage to him and you can unlock stuff based off his personality from like the 1960s and the 1970s. That was a PlayStation Live for me. <laughs> there you go. Heard it here first. There you I'm go. sure Dan's colleagues are just <laughs> yeah. over the moon. Exclusive. Um, yeah. And you know, I, I know we're already you know a little bit through the demo here, Dan, but we didn't really talk about the father and the right. cult yet. Right. But that's obviously a huge point yeah. uh, in Far Cry 5. It's right. sort of the antagonist of the series. Yeah, I think you know the people know that we've worked really hard and, and when you think about it from the standpoint of Far Cry 3 and Bob started to cobble together this idea of the father and then we started to think about okay who do we get to play this and we got a lot of interesting options in terms of casting and then we found a guy by the name of Greg Brick who is unbelievable and this guy is spooky he's a fantastic actor he came in he's playing our father and the thing about him is is that when you meet him he was the one actor that I met that I actually believed he could bring me into a cult and that was uh, all the difference. Plus, he doesn't blink, and it's really spooky. That, like at all? Like, at all. It's weird, really? yeah. That's another exclusive. Yeah. I Wait, really, though? Does he have, like, eye drops? That he's no, 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 he's just intense. In? He's okay. really, he, you know, he's really good at his craft, and he's intense, and when he brings the father, he brings it all. That's amazing. And, you know, Dan, this is amazing because compared to the footage we were just seeing, our driver here is already, it's so much different from what yep. we were seeing before. Yep. Different, game different, different pathways yep. through, different encounters. That's what we wanted, and it wasn't just in terms of a single area. I mean, we want that for all the regions in the game, that you're going to meet different communities, you're going to have different guns for hire, different opportunities, that you can attack it. I mean, Far Cry has been about freedom, opportunity, and surprise, and that's what we bring. And, and, and these partners, these co-op par partners are... are Hey guys, this is Dan Hay. I'm the executive producer on Far Cry and the creative director on Far Cry 5. Today, we want to show you the world of Far Cry 5 and introduce you to the little town of Falls End, which has been overrun by a fanatic cult. In Far Cry 5, we want to give you an entire for hire system. Guns for hire, fangs for hire, and friends for hire. Meet Boomer and Grace. Boomer's your dog, perfect to run out into the world and tag enemies, and Grace... We got Pegasus. She's the quiet sniper. The cult at Eden's Gate has basically taken Sound over all of like Falls End. And you and your guns for hire have to take it back. Where do you want me? We're going to send Grace, our sharpshooter, to the water tower to get ourselves water a cover tower. fire. Got it.
see here are the last remnants of the resistance that tried to fight the cult. I'm in position. Out there in the bushes is Boomer. He's ready to go. And up above, Nick. Perfect death from above. Now, it's time to call on Grace to do what she does. Boom, boom, motherfuckers. <laughs> And seeing them play, how's it been for you? It's been amazing. I mean, we've been sitting on this idea for almost three years, mm -hmm. and we're back, you know, back home thinking about it and saying, what are people going to say? How are they going to feel? What's going to happen when they actually take the controller and they get to use guns for hire? They get to go out into Hope, Montana. They get to experience all the stuff that we want to be able to put into the Anecdote Factory, and it's just, it's awesome to see. It's very cool. I played it myself, and the demo starts with a choice yes. of three of the guns for hire yeah. you can have. Talk us through yeah. each one. So you've got three right from the beginning, and we've got Nick, and Nick is kind of like this uh, death from above guns for hire, right? He's, uh, he's a crop duster by trade, he's got this plane that he's outfitted with the ability to strafe and to be able to drop bombs, and he's just a hell of a lot of fun to play with. Or you can choose Grace, and Grace is super tough, super accurate with the sniper rifle. She's great sort of from up above in the water tower, um, she's super quiet, so if you want to play stealth, that's how you do it, but once she unleashes, she brings the thunder. It's all kinds of trouble. And then finally, you got Boomer, which is a fan favorite. Everybody's loving Boomer. Um, it's your dog, your pet, uh, your best friend. And what's cool about Boomer is if you want to be able to go out and, and play maybe with a little bit more of intention of being stealthy, you can go and actually mark everybody and then choose which one you want Boomer to take. And there are definitely moments where I sort of was like, all right, there's two guys coming from around this truck. Boomer, you go yeah. there. I'll yeah. go here. Yeah. Boom. Yep, it works. I mean, that's the thing that we wanted. And the guns for hire are there for you to use the way you want and kind of attack the whole game from 360 degrees. Did you get in the uh, Widowmaker? Did you get in the big truck? Is that the name? Yeah. Oh, the Widowmaker. Yeah, yeah with the, the big, big truck. With the eagle on the side and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. So you hop inside, you get inside this big rig, and you go off. And if you've got a Guns for Hire with you, they're either on the ground running with you, they're getting in a car themselves, they're, they're beside you in the seat. And as you go out into the world, what we wanted was the feeling that the cult was putting pressure on the world, that you could see it, that there's going to be moments of cult interactions out in the world, and you can basically take that, and if you want to go off-road, you can. If you want to be able to stay on the road, you can. If you want to go hunt off to the side, you can. And then when you finally get to Nick's, you realize, here's another person, like you, who's being pushed back by the cults. He's being basically pushed at, and you can liberate him, make sure that he's safe, and then he turns to you and says, hey, listen, thanks, partner. Listen, my plane's not too far away. If you got a moment, go take the plane, do some damage with it, and try some death from above. Let's get into some trouble. Yeah, let's do it. If you do enough damage, if you push too hard, they call down the Chosen. And the Chosen are going to show up. They're going to be tough. They're going to be very tough to beat. They're going to give you a real challenge. And they're going to force you or push you or encourage you to try and play the game a different way. It's a beautiful place to spend some time, get into some mayhem. Yes. Exciting to see Far Cry 5 here at E3, and it's coming out next year. Yep. What's the date? February 27, 2018. Be there. We must atone! No! No! Something is coming. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel that we are creeping towards the edge. I know that you are out there. And I know that you are in pain. 
my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice, and you can choose a better path. We want you, we accept you, and we will take you, willingly or not. And some of you may fight, but in the end, you will thank us. I am your father, and you are my children. We kept this kind of longing to go to the States and bring Far Cry to the States, but it's not easy to do. The idea of going to a frontier in the States and bringing you to a place that you kind of know already, and just the concept that the thing that's in your backyard could be even more exotic than going a thousand miles away. And that's why we brought it to the States. I am your father, and you are my children. We have to compete with ourselves. We, we built Voss, we built Pagan Min, we wanted the father to be amazing. A cult leader who absolutely unequivocally believes that the end of times is coming, and that he needs to save as many people as he can, whether they want to be saved or not, was I think the genesis for what we built. I think what was interesting about Montana when we went there is we met a lot of people that, that didn't want to be messed with. They want to be left alone. And it created this sense of a frontier and a remoteness that really resonated with us. And what was cool about the language of some of the things we're hearing was, you know, sort of, maybe don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves. What happens when somebody else shows up and says, yeah, I agree with you, don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves and I will provide. All of a sudden you create this petri dish, this sort of magnet for crazy, which is where Eden's Gate goes. And this time we thought it would be really interesting if we basically create a cast of characters. And you've got, you know, the family. Um, you've got the entire group at Eden's Gate. You've got Joseph and Jacob, John and Faith. And they each have their own personalities and they each even have their own uh, agenda. But then at the same time, you have all the characters that you have out in the open world. So you've got Mary May and Nick and you've got Pastor Jerome and a host of other characters that you can meet and interact with. And when we see those characters come to life, and we see that they're not just AI waiting around to give you a mission, they have real personalities, they have opinions about stuff, um, the world feels real. You're going to need to get help. And when we were in Montana, we met really interesting people that we imagined could, could really take care of themselves. I think that what's cool about that is that you go out into the world and you meet people for the first time. You don't know them. Maybe they don't trust you. But if you can, if you can strike up a deal with them, if you can have a conversation with them, and make them part of what it is that you're building. They can join your resistance, and now you have a guns for hire that comes with you. And when I think of Far Cry, I think about the idea of kind of sitting at a bar, having a scotch, and somebody comes up behind me and starts to talk about an urban legend that happened kind of to them, and they're telling the story of survival in a frontier, and it's twisted, it's, it's unique. That's what makes a Far Cry story. And if I can imagine myself at that bar, and I can hear that story and go, okay, we could build that, we could make that, that's a Far Cry. And I do that for all the projects that we work on. It's like, could that be real? And in this case, I think that bar is actually in Montana. Woe to the man who leads my flock astray, says the Lord. We were given so much. This land, this life, our freedom. What's left of it now? Our people felt abandoned, grew weary. They needed our help. And we didn't listen. But he did. Told them exactly what they wanted to hear. But those Falsehoods, lies, his 
poison. It's driven them from pasture, from the righteous path. Woe to the man who leads my flock astray. For if I am not their shepherd, then I must be the wolf. she all this time she ain't never let me down I just hope she's around when he's old enough to fly oh my boy I mean I hope it's a boy I just want him to fly her like I do not like my dad or my grandpa they flew in the war, so I didn't have to. But now, I don't know if he'll ever have the chance. Not with these s around here. People are scared, man. And I may never have gone to war. If them and Peggy's come after my family. I'm sure as hell we'll give them one. up here, you know. Had my first kiss out back with some dumb cowboy. <laughs> Almost got caught by my dad. He loved this place. It wasn't all easy. But he always made sure that here, you could speak your mind. And then they showed up. We're here to help, they said. He believed them. And then they took my mom, my brother. And dad was never the same. And now what? You wanna take this place too? No. This place is ours.